origin of possession That's right. it's not here on earth no. No, no it originated in heaven right in heaven because when satan <laughs> seduce your mind mm -hmm. and possess your mind mm -hmm. to fulfill his will until you will denounce god Satan have possessed you. That's right. Note at the fifth chapter of the book of Mark real quick. Amen. Mark chapter 5 and at verse 1. Listen. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. What? And when he was come out of the ship immediately. Right away. There met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. A man with an unclean spirit. Who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him, no not with chains. Yes. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him. Mm -hmm. And the fetters broken in pieces. You know. You don't find men just going around breaking chains like it's no, paper. No way. But the devil was in this fella. That's right. The devil gave him strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Neither could any man tame him. Notice. Not only did the devil give him strength, but the spirit of the devil made him unruly. That's right. So, the word that is used to describe his unruly behavior, mm -hmm. neither could any man tame him. Tame. Tame. That type of term is used to describe the wildness of an animal. That's right. Hmm. Tame. Couldn't tame. tame him. No. This shows you the characteristics mm -hmm. of Satan that worked in him. Satan has the character of a beast. That's right. He is called the great red the dragon. dragon. Mm -hmm. He is called that he walks about as a roaring lion. That's right. So this gentleman had a beast mm -hmm. like nature or mm -hmm. beast like character working in him. Amen. Man couldn't tame him. Neither could any man tame him. Neither could no man control him. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with, with stones. Hold it. Mm -hmm. This shows you a separation mm -hmm. from the man and the spirit that was in him. That's right. He crying mm -hmm. let you know he was aware he was being tormented. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Did you see that there? Amen. Go ahead, brother. He crying, crying. show you the human Amen. side of him. It's good teaching, brother. He show you the human side. He's crying. crying. He want relief. That's he right. want out. Mm -hmm. But he just couldn't free himself. Amen. Go ahead, man. Cutting himself. Cutting himself. Satan got in him. Spirits got in him. Mm -hmm. Because the book says this. No man hateth his own flesh. His own flesh. flesh. That's right. No man. That's Didn't right. say so? That's right. Amen. That's right. But Satan caused him to hate right. his own flesh mm -hmm. by abusing it and mutilating it. Cutting himself. do that to people right today. That's right. That's right, sir. Taking things, trying to cut their wrists cut, right. to kill themselves. The that's right. Not popping pills. Oh, no. It's true. Not high off drugs. No. Oh, no. Amen. But you see, when you in a depressed or down state, yeah. you become more acceptable. Good teaching. Good teaching. It's a gateway. Go ahead. It's an open emotional wound. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. It's an easy interest that Satan can come in while you are in that mental and emotional state of being. That's right. Satan can step in yeah. and then enlarge your capacity to think negative. That's right. Because you're already in a negative state. Amen. Amen. So now your escape from problems. Satan implement the thought of death. Death. That's right. Right. Afflict harm upon yourself. Take your life. Take your okay. life. You're talk to you. yes, Especially if you already believe you have nothing to live for. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Sir. The very thought that you have nothing to live for okay. is a lie. Right. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. That thought mm -hmm. contradicts God. That's right. For God said, "I made you for my glory." My glory. That's right. That's Amen. right. So Amen. to say you don't have nothing to live for is equal to saying I am here not to live for God. That's right. That's right, Pop. So Satan enlarge in your mind mm -hmm. hopelessness. hopelessness. That's right. Integrated with stress of problems. Yes. So now you abuse yourself. That's Amen. right. Overdose on pills. Mm -hmm. Cut your arms. Cut your arms out. Or eat yourself to death. That's right. Go on a drinking binge. Mm. 
Physical mutilation. Yeah. Are you listening? That's Amen. right. Glory to God. Neither could any man tame him. <coughs> and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs. Always night and day he was in the mountain and in the tombs. Crying and cutting crying himself with stones. And abusing himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus Glory afar to off. Glory God. Amen. Here come the resurrection. <laughs> That's right. Wonderful. And the life. That's right. Wonderful, sir. Here mm. come good medicine. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Here come counselor. counselor. That's right. That's right. Because one in that state of being yes, need counsel. Yes, needs counsel. Needs counsel. That's right. Especially when there's a spirit involved. Mm -hmm. One who studies psychology haven't mastered the mind to tackle spirit. Yes. No. Right. No, no. No, no. You can have a degree. Mm -hmm. But your degree don't prepare you for spirit. That's true. Amen. That's, true. Amen. That's right. That's why one got to have God in him. That's right. That prepare him for spirit and man. That's, That's right. right. Excellent, Pastor. Excellent. Go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead. Got to prepare him for spirit Amen. and man mm -hmm. to be able to chase the spirit, chase rebuke it. the spirit, ahead, and brother. then counsel the man. That's right. Good teaching, brother. Hold the answer. Hold the answer. Go ahead. That's right. yeah. Good That's teachings. It. That's it. Because a man or a woman in that state mm -hmm. is dealing with dual nature. Right. That's, right. That's true. That's it. They're in a state of dual nature. That's Go ahead, man. Go ahead. It's good teaching. Dual nature. Go ahead. Mm. It's a God in them. That's true. The God of this world. That's right. Satan. Uh -huh. Satan. And for them to have proper liberation, freedom. Yep. Mm. Some folks say, well, all you got to do is believe. Wait a minute. Uh, Wait a minute. That's right. That's right. That's right. Say they can have me in a state mm -hmm. where I can't believe. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. Because he possessed me. That's right. That's right, sir. So if I'm under possession, I'm not of myself. So a power has to face me greater than myself. Amen. I have no faith. I don't know God. Yeah. I just need help. That's need help. Right. That's right. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's it, sir. Go ahead. Amen. Lord, I believe. Yeah. Help Are thou mine Amen. unbelief. Amen. Do you hear this? In the book of Mark, chapter 9, and at verse 24. Lord, Lord, I, I believe, believe. Help thou. Help thou. Mine unbelief. My unbelief. That's right. Help thou. Help it. Help it. Help it. Help it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in a state of being where I have no faith. That's right. I don't even know how to believe. That's right. But I do know I need help. Help. Hallelujah. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. In that state, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Jesus steps in. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes, and Hallelujah. makes Hallelujah. intercession. That's, go ahead, brother. That's right. Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. Go and take God. Hallelujah. He makes intercession. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's it, Hallelujah. Your prayer has gone up before God. Hallelujah. 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 Or even if you don't know how to pray, that's right. Your desire. Go ahead, brother. It's going up. Go ahead. And one of the seven catch it. That's right. That's right. Glory Amen. to God. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Raise it before the Almighty. Amen. 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 Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Go ahead, man. Yes. Go ahead. Are you listening? Amen. Go ahead. I want you to look closely. Amen. Amen. At this man who's possessed here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Look brother. closely. Go ahead. Amen. Look good. That's what right. is that? Back in Mark chapter 5 and verse 6. Glory to God. But when he saw Jesus afar off. He saw Jesus afar off. He ran and worshipped <coughs> him. He ran and worshipped him. And cried with a loud voice. And what? And said, what have I to do with thee, Jesus? Hold it. Hmm. Notice. Mm -hmm. First it talked about the man. Then it talked about the spirit in him. That's, That's right. right. That's it. That's it. That's it. Say, where do you see that at? Oh. It says he ran and worshipped him. He ain't talking about the devil. That's the man. No. That's the man. That's, the man. That's, That's right. right. That lets you know the man is conscious of the devil that's in him. That's right. But when the man got to Jesus, mm -hmm. the devil said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus? What have I got to do with you? Thou son of the most high God. Dual nature. Dual nature. That's right. That's it. That's it. Go ahead, Glory brother. God. Go ahead. Go ahead. What has thou to do with you, Jesus? Thou son of the most high thou God. Son of the most high God. I adjure thee by I God. I adjure thee by God. That thou torment that me thou not. Torment me not. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Jesus didn't come to torment the man. No. no. It was the man that ran to worship him. That's, That's right. right. But when he got there, 
The devil come along and talk. Talk. That's right. That's right. Listen. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Get out. Come, come out. out. Come out. Come out. Come out of the man. Come out of the man, thou unclean, unclean spirit. spirit. And he asked him. And he asked him, What is thy name? A conversation mm -hmm. between Jesus mm -hmm. and the spirit of the devil that was in that man. That's right. Amen. What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion. My name is Legion, which means For we are many. We are many. 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 You got a whole lot in him. That's right. This man had a whole lot in him. That's right. Sometimes you can have a whole lot in you. Oh, yes. So, yes, possession is real. Oh, Amen. Yes. Listen good. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. And? Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And what? And all the devils besought him. All the devils besought him. Saying, send us into the swine that we may enter Jesus, into them. If you're going to cast us out. Hmm. Then our request mm -hmm. body. is that we go into a, some other bodies. That's right. Another body. That's right. Where, where do you want to go? Into the swine that we may enter into them. Now some of you looking at me now, you say that's why you don't eat pork because the devil's in the hog. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> devil's in the hog. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then why do you drink water? That's right. <laughs> I'm going to show you where them pork chops went. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> eh? That's right. Glory to God. Come on, son. Let's and, have it. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out right. and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. There were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. So, you don't eat pork because of this reason. Don't you lay off the water also. Also. That's right. The devil's in the hog. The devil's in you. <laughs> That's right. All right, the 19th chapter of the book of Acts. This possession stuff is, 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 is very interesting. Oh. Acts chapter 19 and at verse uh, 13. Now, if, if, if the apostle Paul on one occasion advised Timothy, lay hands suddenly on no man. On no man. So there's many folk that come into the church very zealous, over righteous. Oh, yeah. Blind to the methods of God. Mm -hmm. So now you come in, quote a few scriptures, and now you want to go around trying to cast out devils out of people. That's right. That's right. <laughs> My Lord. I often say, hmm. if you can't get a little monkey off your back, mm -hmm. That's right. if you can't contain or control that little monkey, <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's bothering you. Bothering you. Does it make sense to tackle a gorilla? No way. Amen. First, be able to master and control and conquer the devil that's in self. That's right. That's right. We'll try to connect with no one to my son. We going out and cast out devils. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. You try it. Try it. The devil may come out in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. But uh, it may do some harm to you. That's right. Yeah, Let me show you this. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, and at verse 43. All right. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, yeah. he walketh through dry places, then what? seeking rest and findeth none. Mm -hmm. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. I will return where I left. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then what? Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more wicked than himself. Listen, stop trying to bother the devil. That's right. Just worry about the devil in you and ask God to get that out. Get that out. 19 chapter of Acts, real quick. Back in Acts chapter 19 and verse 13. Let's work on this possession. Then certain of the vagabond Jews. You better be careful who you're around. Amen. Oh, yes, sir. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. What of God says evil communications. Mm-hmm. Corrupt. Good manners. That's right. Amen. Paul said, awake to righteousness. Oh, yes. Evil communication. Evil. Mm -hmm. The people of God have no business going to visit some no. terror. No. You know them houses where they advertise sister this one and sister that one. A big palm That's right. on the window with an eye in the middle. Palm yeah. reader. Palm reader. Yeah. Stay away from that witchcraft. That's right. That's what it is. That's it, sir. We don't believe in horoscopes. No. That's right. Pisces and Aries. Mm -hmm. That's, right. That's right. According to the horoscope. My birthday, February 10th, I was supposed to be Aquarius. Aquarius. I ain't no Aquarius. <laughs> Amen. I go and I look at the picture of Aquarius, it look funny. That's right. <laughs> Standing there dressed all funny. Amen. That's not me. No. Oh, no. <laughs> eh? oh, no. 
Scorpio and Pisces and all that yeah. trash. Trash. Star wish up. That's right. Thou shalt wish up the Lord thy yeah. God and him only. Amen. Shall thy serve. Amen. Amen. Listen. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, exorcists, took upon them to call over them. Notice. Mm. How the scriptures described them. Mm -hmm. Vagabond Jews. Vagabond Jews, meaning this was a sect of Jews that just went around. Yeah. That's right. Trying to resort to exorcism. That's right. They were vagabond Jews. Vagabond. Listen good. Exorcists uh -huh. took upon them to call over Hold them. It. Who took, gave them permission? Took upon them. They took it upon themselves. That's right. That's right. That's right. You see, there's an order to things. Order. Yeah. You don't take it upon yourself to my son. I'm going to cast out a devil. No, no. Now listen good. Took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Saying, we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. Mm -hmm. And there were seven sons of one Sceva Jew and chief of the priests which did so. All right. And the evil spirit answered. The evil spirit answered. And said, Jesus I know. Yeah. The devil started talking. <laughs> That's right. Are you prepared to hear him? Yeah. My Lord. Amen. Mm. Wonderful. Are you prepared to hear the devil's voice? And the evil spirit answered. The evil spirit answered. And said, Jesus I know. I know Jesus. And Paul I know. Now hold it. That tells me something about Paul. That's right. That's right. That tells me Paul was a tough preacher. Oh yeah. He was tough enough that even the devil gave him recognition. That's, That's right. right. Paul I know. Hey devil, where you know Paul from? Because I used to have him. That's right. He used to work for me. Amen. Right. He was going out persecuting the church he's in now. That's right. Huh? That's At right. At one time he was breathing out threatening and slaughters, but then hmm. my creator stopped him. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's right. A light shine from heaven. Go ahead. Above the brightness of the sun. That's right. And now God took him away from it. Amen. Amen. I want him back. Right. Amen. Paul, I know. I know. Well, Paul, I know Paul. Amen. Jesus. Jesus, I know. Oh, how do you know Jesus, devil? Mm -hmm. Because he cast me out of a whole lot of folk. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's God right. is guaranteed I'm going to leave when he come. <laughs> Amen. Listen. But who are ye? Hold it. Mm. Who are you? Why ask who are you? Who are ye? In other words. What authority are you working under? That's right. I'm familiar with the power that Jesus has. That's right. I'm familiar with the authority that was in the Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. You. Who are ye? What are you doing? That's right. Who gave you the right to use the name of Jesus Christ to get me to do anything? Amen. That's what the Spirit says. Go ahead. Who are you? Who, Who? gave you the right? Mm -hmm. What kind of power you have? That's right. Who are ye? Hmm? Amen. Right. I got them using that name to the devil. He took it as an insult. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Who are you? That's, That's right. right. What you doing? That's what are you right. doing? Glory Amen. to God. Look at here. And the man Amen. in whom the evil spirit was. The man. Look closely. And the man. In whom. The evil spirit was. The evil spirit was. Leaped on them. That spirit came out and jumped on them. And overcame them. And it took them over. And prevailed against them. And got victory over them. So that they fled out of they that house. They ran out of that house. Naked. It beat them out of their clothes. And wounded. And it hurt their body. That's right. You better be careful, sir. You better be careful. You better be careful. Oh, yeah. Talking about you're going to work in exorcism. You're going to drink coffee. <laughs> That's right. And That's eat right. a donut. Amen. That's right. And leave casting out devils to one that got authority. That's right. So, yes. Possession, Possession is real. It's real. Oh, yes. Everything that's in the word of God, God knows mm -hmm. it's real. Oh, that's right. Yes. Eh? That's this question comes from uh, Tampa, Florida. Uh, All right. It says, when the holy writings speak about devils in plural, yet we read in Jude that those angels that, were, that left their first estate, which, was, which were holy, uh -huh. are reserved in prison. Can you please talk a little about these devils, quote unquote, and evil spirits? that we read about in certain passages of the Holy Scriptures. Yes, I do that. I know, now, uh -huh. I know this is a deep topic, this person says, but the Lord made you a deep sea diver. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother Gina. All right. Let's go to work in this. Now, preachers have said, when the Bible pluralizes devils, and people may be filled with devils, like the man Legion. Legion. It says, for we... Are many. Yeah. Preachers have said that Legion wasn't just Satan, but it was Satan and the fallen angels. No, it was not. Oh. No, it was not. Oh. All right, give me the book of Jude now. In the book of Jude, I want one. to show you the location of the fallen angels mm -hmm. 
and where they are right now. That's right. Eh? Let's lock this down with the Bible. In the Come book on, of Jude, son. In Jude chapter 1, we're at the sixth verse. All right. And the angels. Wait a minute. And the angels. Which kept not their first estate. And let's remember it was a whole third that was put out. That's right. An entire third was cast out. That's right. Because they took sides with Satan and war broke out in heaven and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and his angels. Thank God, but the dragon didn't prevail. Mm -hmm. And when the dragon was put out, uh, the apostle declared, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Amen. All right. And the angels which kept not their first estate. What happened? But left. They left. Their own habitation. Why did they leave? Because God put them out. That's right. And when God put you out, you can't stay where God put you out. That's you right. just got to go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He has reserved. All right. Now, the angels that was put out, they are not roaming around nowhere. No. Nowhere. They're not in purgatory, they're not in heaven, they're not roaming up and down the earth either. That's right. All right? He has reserved. God got them reserved where? In everlasting chains. Where are they? In everlasting chains. How long is those chains? Underdark, everlasting. Everlasting chains. Everlasting. They're in prison. Right. What? Under darkness. Under darkness. Unto the judgment of the great day. Now the angels that was put out of heaven, they are reserved in the chains of darkness, and they're going to be there until the great day. And that great day is the coming of the Lord. Right. Now there's going to come a time that the church is going to judge the angels. That's right. And the angels that's going to be judged are the backsliding angels, right. which was cast out for taking sides with Satan. That's right. Now when the Bible talk about devils, devils. Glory to God. We're in the book of St. Mark now. Follow me quickly. Mark chapter 5, and we'll start reading at verse 3. All right. Who? Uh, at verse 1. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. Uh -huh. And when he was come out of the ship, yes. immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. Notice. Spell spirit. S-P-I-R-I-T. First, first is singular. Right. Notice it says a man with, with the unclean spirit. spirit. Right. You know what it says? That's a right. unclean spirit. I want to itemize this itemize. and take it apart. Come on, son. Who had his dwelling among the tombs? Uh -huh. And no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Then what? Because that he had been bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, uh -huh. and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. Yeah. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying mm -hmm. and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. And said what? And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? What do I have to do with you? Jesus, thou son of the most high what God, I adjure thee by God that thou twenty. What did Jesus die. say? For he said unto him, Come out of the man. Come out of the man. Thou unclean spirit. Notice he keeps singularizing it. That's right. Thou unclean spirit. All right, real quick. And he asked him, what is thy name? What's your name? And he answered saying, my name is Legion. My, la my name is Legion. For we. What, what do the word Legion mean? We are many. That's right. We are what? We are many. But when Jesus told him to come out, what did he say? Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And what did the spirit say? My name is Legion, for we are many. Amen. Eh? Amen. Right. Now. Satan is one. That's right. Yes, he is. But there's many attributes or characteristics of this one. That's right. He produced a whole lot. Oh, yeah. That one devil That's right. can have you with the spirit of adultery, yeah. the spirit of fornication, yeah. can be a lying spirit, That's right. can be a spirit of idolatry. That's right. There's a lot of attributes to the one spirit, the devil. That's right. And God wanted all of it, all, all of it, yeah. everything the devil had in that man. That's right. The devil want all of it to come.
of him. So yes, the devil, there's one devil, but many attributes to the one devil. And all the devils besought him. What? And all the devils besought him. All, now here, here, listen. <laughs> all the devils, besought all him. the devils. All the devils. But it wasn't a group of devils that was cast out of heaven. No. Yeah, here, here, preachers, can you, can you soak hey. through that? Go ahead, go ahead. It wasn't a group of devils that was cast out of heaven. No. It was one devil. Right. And that was the dragon. It right. was not dragons. That's right. Hallelujah to God. That's right. It was the great red dragon. That's right. The old serpent. The old serpent. Called the devil. the devil. One devil, but many characteristics and many attributes from that one spirit. Even down to don't even down to buying hats and jackets and sneakers. Don't buy nothing with a skull on it. Nothing. Don't even get a buck, a belt buckle with a skull, a hat with a skull, skull prints. A lot of that endorsed satanic wish out. Right, right. Amen. Amen. And endorsed Satanism. Yeah. You mess around and let a spirit come in your room. That's right. Well, this look cool. It look wicked. No skull shirts, no skull hats, no image of skull on your glove, no image of a skull and crossbones or nothing you have. Supposed to be a new creature. Yeah. Bible said if you walk in the light as he is in the light, you have fellowship. That's right. How would you feel if Pastor Jen is coming with a black suit and a big old skull and crossbones? Printed all over my jacket. You would look at me like I lost my mind. Oh, yeah. Uh, some of you don't know what's wrong with you. You invite spirits in your life. And you don't know what's going on with you. Spirits done came in your life. That's right. You better be careful. Yeah, be careful. Don't be careless. Oh, yeah. Some of you ain't never ran up on a spirit. Some of you have. You can bear witness to what I'm talking. Brother, when the spirit latch on to you, sometimes it's hard to shake that thing off. That spirit start breaking you down mentally. It'll start breaking you down emotionally. And a spirit can start making you physically ill. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Make you ill. Don't take what we preach lightly. Amen. Young men, be strong. Don't be weak. You take what every fool give you. Amen. No grown man in here should be walking around wanting to celebrate trick or treat. Grown man with fake teeth and fake blood. <laughs> you are an embarrassment to the Bible itself. Women want to sneak out trick or treat. Trick or treat. Mm. We don't go look to go visit haunted places for Halloween. That's of the devil. That's right. No Halloween house. Nah, Halloween. That's of the devil. Amen. Early in the week, a group of demons come ringing my bell. And I came down my step before I answered the door. Fools on my porch. No, no, well. The angels they sing, la la la. I say, what? <laughs> you know, a group of people that go your house to house, house, to house. singing carols. Carols. <laughs> I come down to my step. Daddy said, "Who was at the door?" I said, "A bunch of fools out there singing." You said, "Did you get it?" I said, "No, I came on in the kitchen." <laughs> Carolers. I was going right to the kitchen. The moment they start, I just said, <laughs> went right to the kitchen. <coughs> Go to the next neighbor house. That's what they do. I started to play with the light, make it go on and off. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from my steps. <laughs> One old man knocked on my door some years ago from the neighborhood. Stocky white brother, big old beard. He said, 
Oh, I live up the street. I'm your neighbor. Do you have any black boots? I said, for what? He said, I'm Santa Claus this year. I ain't got no boots. I said, I ain't got none either. <laughs>